Hey everybody, I am out here tonight to get my old turbine fixed and I'm going to try to show people how to do a slip ring. There is the Chinese turbine everybody has the, oh no, it never keeps running. Um, hey dude, I'm buying me a bunch more. In fact, I might replace that awesome design because this just puts out so well. And there's the chaos one sitting over there. And I'm gonna do a review. So tomorrow, as soon as daylight comes around, and maybe some wind blowing, I'll do a review. And you'll see that the Chinese turbine that I I like a lot, um, right there, is not only a functional turbine, but it's a damn good producing one for the price. So, I mean, this cost me about $400 to build. This one here, about $400 to build. I bought this one here with shipping for about 300 altogether. So, and it beats the hell out of all of them, really, honestly. All right, so let's, tomorrow, uh, we'll fade back into tomorrow, cause it's getting dark right now. All right, guys, there's the daytime view here. Um, I've got to do a little bit of work on my wind turbines. I've got this one over here with its slip ring going out, so it's only putting through on two legs. Uh, there's my lot of Chinese wonder right there. It's in the prop wash of that one So it's not doing great, but it's doing good as usual seems to always do great and there's chaos up there um, Let's go take a look see right quick at what we're working with. This is my uh, I think I did my last video middle of January So uh, this year 2018 so I'm gonna give you a little update um, let's See if you can see it better here in the daytime here get a close-up there's my little Chinese wonder uh, that everybody says, oh, the bearings are going to quit, the bearings are going to quit. Oh, my God, it's not going to work, it's not going to work. Uh, and that one over there, still working perfect. This one up here, it needs a little bit of savior. It's uh, five years and two months there. So let's run inside. In fact, let me go show you a Chinese turbine. I'll pause this, get to a Chinese turbine. Okay, now there's a Chinese turbine right there. That one there is a Winmax HYE. Right before they sold out and joined the Nass Monkey in Missouri, those were badass turbines, and this one still is. It's six years old, uh, and it produces every day. Never had a bearing replaced, never had nothing done to it. It's impressive, it does its output as claimed. The newer model HYEs, I wouldn't put a nickel into. So, uh, for all you guys going, that's Chinese bearings, it's gonna quit. Bullshit, that one's almost six years old. It's right at six years, so don't say it. it's not true. All right, here we go. Let's go look in the shop right quick, see what that, uh, my little $300, 220 plus whatever shipping, roughly 300 total cost me and what it does. All right, come on. Okay, up here in my wall, I've got my resistor load wall. I've currently got this one, which is gray matter, the one on the end that needs a slip ring. It's feeding through resistors. Here's how I figured out that I got a bad leg. Warm, cold, warm. So the reason that I'm feeding it through resistors so it doesn't run away with itself, having one bad um, contact in a slip ring. And we're gonna do a video next about slip rings, about how to install those slip rings. Now. This is the Chinese turbine, the Billy Badass, and this is the Chaos turbine with all the colors, the Mexican hat tail on it. You probably see that in my previous videos. All right, folks, here we go. Now, we have the little Billy Badass turbine, 100 watts, the uh, Chaos turbine putting out, what is it? Not nothing, <laughs> it just dropped off. Uh, the uh, gray matter turbine actually putting out even though I can remove this one because it has a it has a bad It has a bad uh, slip ring and it's still going to put out the same wattage So here we go down here. We've got the chaos turbine um, Wind speeds are 12 to 15 miles per hour with a few gusts hitting around 18 20 but there you go, there's your power. 260 watts, chaos 121 watts, and the poor gray matter. I've got it through its resistors. If you look at my other videos, I got a row of resistors because I don't want to do a runaway. Without having that load of all three wires coming through, it will do a runaway on me, so I don't want to damage the blades if I have a windstorm in the middle of the night. Now, um, down here, 
Uh, the gas turbine is just outside of its realms of where it needs to be. It needs to be at about 10 mile per hour constant to keep its power levels up. And this one here, the little Chinese turbine, hell, anything above seven, it's making power. So there is your thing. Uh, 81 days is how long these data recorders have been recording because we had to take all of this apart because we're moving our solar controllers. So you see jumper cables everywhere, jumper cables hooked up down in here. There is a pretty consistency. So, and look up here. That's amazing for that thing, Gray Matter, still to be working with just a totally fried slip ring. Um, there's your output of your power. But everybody said the bangs are going to quit. Your Chinese turbine is going to quit. <laughs> your Chinese turbine is going to quit. So what were they going to do? They were going to drive over my house. They were going to get in their Chinese-made Chevrolet or Dodge or Ford or whatever. And they were going to drive over my house. And they were going to have their Chinese pistons running like crazy with their Chinese crankshaft. And charging their Chinese alternator with their Chinese radiator, keeping it all nice and cool. Oh, and their wheels are going to be spinning on Chinese bearings. And they were going to come over to my house and kick my ass for loving my Chinese turbine. Well, I don't love a Chinese turbine. I don't have a fucking choice. I could more of this garbage from Missouri, and I could have bought another one of these, you know, uh, the Thermodyne, which uh, they work great, guys, this Thermodyne right here, these work great, five and a half years, the Chaos Turbine and the uh, um, Gray Matter Turbine being up there, but I've got to replace its slip ring now, so we have a slip ring issue, now I get these slip rings from Hurricane Wind Power because they are Moflon. Moflon is the right brand. Uh, Merck Tech Moflon. These here come from a place out of the Midwest. And there are your Vietnam made knockoffs of the Moflons. This is 20 something dollars. This is 20 something dollars. Genuine, 10 gauge, 12 gauge. Fucking aluminum clad. Real tinned copper. See that? I don't know if you can see it center. Tinned copper. The real thing. A fraud <laughs> so um, I'll put you a link to those if you're interested ask um, if I didn't already put a link in there on it ask and we're gonna be working on that next but I just want to give you guys an update of my Chinese no good gonna last 30 day it's not gonna last at all long it's gonna be 30 day 30 day it's gonna be dead China bearing no good no good China bearing well the bearings <laughs> I don't know who the hell makes them but they're tapered they're tapered bearings like you'd have on a, on a car axle. They're not some little sleeve bearings. So there you go. Um, you know, hit and miss winds, producing constant 80 something days. And fans just kicked off because the wind slowed down. Um, temperature come down. But there you go, guys. There it is. There is the, uh, the temperature here in the room. So, not a bad deal. Chinese turbine. I think it was 220 bucks, and I don't, can't remember what the shipping was. I, I got it for free. I bought three more of them and, and cut a deal by contacting the guy on AliExpress. And you can do that too. You can go down there to that, the link, AliExpress link below the video. Go contact them. Hey, that thing works awesome. Had the video on that. So let's get out here and conclude this. Oh, your Chinese bird might not last. It won't last, you know. Fuck, I heard it all. So here we go. Um, right up there. That's the no lasting turbine. Old Harbor Freight equipment. Let's get up top here. Let's just get up here and look. All right, I'm on the roof. Didn't want to do this. Ain't been on the roof in a long time. So, isn't that crazy effect the camera has on that blade? Look, Chinese turbine. Blades, all bad. <laughs> Bearings, all bad. <laughs> Not gonna last. Oh, I won't, it won't last a week. God, all the haters that got in their Chinese cars and drove over to tell me, huh? The Thermodyne. Kicking ass. You see how that is up there on that slip ring? That's how that's going to be mounted. 
works like a dream. My Mexican hat from Missouri. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, to the poor the parts come from. But for the sake of it all, listen to it. That looks creepy with them blades like that through the camera. Here's the product production date. You can see that. All right, guys. And the gray motor turbine. It's gonna be getting work done on it. Still putting out, crazy as it is. Probably more than a turbine from Missouri with a burnout slip ring.